So anyway, but normally that our default due, right? Deadline, remember, is 5 p.m. on that week. So if it's a module for week three, it's due on the stuff in there is due uh, by five o'clock on that, that Friday. Um, the exception being the scoop it, right? So we always do a scoop it, um, your story posted by five o'clock on Wednesday, so that people have a couple days. So your, your uh, feedback, your response, your reaction um, is due by uh, five on Friday. Cool? All right. Um, and so, uh, uh, yeah, so, so I, I was working on getting the Canvas site up and running, and so I think we're good now. Um, I haven't shared the, the final syllabus with you guys, but I just wanted to go over a couple key things here. Um, also got some questions the last couple days. Dr. Ray, what's up? You said there's a, <laughs> there's a reading summary, but there are no readings. Like, what's going on, right? So, so now the readings are up. So I just wanted to go over um, that. So um, each week we'll have some readings. We'll have some textbook stuff. We'll have some uh, videos to watch and all this and that. <clears throat> There'll be at least one, if not several, peer-reviewed articles, right? So we might have some newspaper articles, might have some websites, all this stuff's good. You should read all that and look at all that. Um, but um, for the peer-reviewed paper or papers, um, you pick one of those, right? So if there's only one, you gotta do that one. But, but in most cases, you have a choice. So it might be two papers to read, three papers to read. You need to read them all, but you only need to summarize one, and you get to pick whichever one you're most interested in. Or, or seems most curious, you're most curious about, or what have you. So when you do that, um, what you're going to do uh, again, Friday by five this week, you can have a couple extra days, but but by default, Friday of that week at five, you're going to do a one-page summary. So it's not meant to take a lot of time, right? This is meant to be an exercise you should be doing with all of your stuff always, whenever you read anything for a class, or job, or work, or whatever the heck, right? And so, so this over here on the right is an example. Um, reading summary, right? Uh, the first one or two I'll, I'll look at maybe a little closer, but the idea is I'm just going to skim these really fast, right? So the idea is not to spend hours and hours and hours on these, but to work that muscle to get used to this exercise of summarizing. Um, what's the key point? Did I, did I get a takeaway? So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, put this together. You're going to have like the, the, your name and all that kind of stuff here. The name of the paper, right, up there, so the title and the author. Um, and then the central hypothesis, the core hypothesis. So what was the main thing they were testing in this paper or the main thing they were exploring? In most cases, it will be a hypothesis. Every once in a while, it might be a review paper or something like that that isn't a, a super clear hypothesis, in which case you can just put the main thesis. But it's always best to state it as a falsifiable hypothesis. There, so you know, th this was uh, an effect of um, uh, I don't know, uh, 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 native seed introductions to recover grasslands or something like that, right? Or, or does wild, or, or, uh, wildfire, um, uh, wildfire is an effective tool to reduce um, deer mortality or you know, something like that, some of that nature. Okay, cool. So you're gonna title, logistics, your name, title the thing so I know what we're talking about. It's one sentence statement, hypothesis, and then two paragraphs. This one has three, but really you just, need, you just need two. So one is a quick summary, three, four sentences. This is what the paper looked at, right? And then your, your, your take on it, and then the second paragraph is your take on it. Um, any kind of, so anything responding to what the paper was about, how this fits into the rest of class, how this was different from something we learned in class, whatever. I just want you to reflect on that paper. Right? And then, last little bit, just a couple bullet points, not, not, not full sentences, just, just little sentence fragments. Um, two or three things that you liked about the paper. There's always at least two or three things about every paper that's good. And then things that you didn't like or you thought were poor. So there's always at least a couple things everybody can do better. 